Welcome back. Mixed martial arts or MMA has become a mainstream sport in America and even in a boxing crazed state like Rhode Island, MMA continues to gain popularity. CES Promotions based here in Rhode Island is about to put local fighters on a national stage. JP Smallins has the story. It's there, but it's not. There he is. He got it. Its latest event will reach a national audience. CES 25 earning a live spot on Access Television, the network created by Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. We're fighting here locally, and we're getting a lot of exposure in New England. Um, you know, you, you catch up and see the fights later on YouTube, but it's not the same when, when you get to actually touch 50 million homes compared to 1,000 or 10,000 YouTube hits. For us to so have this opportunity uh, to, to fight in front of our country, uh, it, it's a huge, huge asset. The growth of the sport putting it on par with CES's boxing division, a reason why the promotional team was created in 2010. We couldn't ignore the growth of MMA. Uh, the, the appeal of that, this sport's incredible. Um, these athletes are phenomenal. They, they spend a lot of time training. Uh, contrary to what a lot of people may believe, most of these guys are educated. Most of these guys have uh, a, a serious training background in either martial arts or wrestling. Um, so it's been really fun to work with these guys and get this division off the ground. I see the future only exploding. I think that we've really just tapped into the market. If CES's 25th event goes well, it could open up the door to future dates on Axis, giving New England's best MMA fighters a chance to spread their name to a national audience and ultimately earn a spot on the sport's biggest stage, the UFC. Oh, oh, definitely, especially if you perform on a high level, you know, get an exciting finish, you know, knockout or submission, and, you know, show the world, you know, what you're capable of, you know. That's all it really takes. You can take that one shot and, you know, you get that call that, that they want to move you up to the next level. Discussions up to this point have been, uh, let's see how the first date goes uh, on August 8th. And if they're satisfied with that, if they're satisfied with the fights, with the venue, um, then they want to talk about entering into a deal in 2015 and 2016. I anticipate they'll be satisfied with the product, they'll be satisfied with Twin River, and uh, I hope that we can bring at least five to six live events in 2015 and in 2016. In Providence, I'm J.P. Smolens, Eyewitness Sports.